303 SE Cruiser by Crossroads here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And real quick, I want to mention if I sound extra froggy today, I know I have a nasally voice, but my voice is cracking like I'm going through puberty. And uh, it's I've just been doing a ton of these videos and I'm getting a little cold and I'm kind of starting to lose my voice here. I am sorry. I'm sucking on cough drops and trying to make her through, but the show must go on. So apologies. Let's get dug in here. Uh, twin power awnings. We've added a second power awning to the face of the slide out here. Both awnings do have LED lights, by the way. Door side slide outs are really cool because they give you huge living rooms, of course, but they cut your awning off. So we give you like that extra eight foot or so back over here, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, the entry door on your cruisers is the wider entry door, so it is easier to come and go, especially with that uh, folding entry handle there. Um, you can't read it very easily from here, but that number two sticker up there indicates two-year warranty. Um, this year, uh, Crossroads RVs stepped up, and they've had uh, so little in the way of warranty claims, which I've been preaching for two years, how these have been our lowest instance of warranty claims of any fifth-wheel RV, of which we represent a lot of different brands, like 21 different manufacturers out here. Um, they doubled their liability in this in their RVs. Think about what that actually means, guys. You know, any bet you ever made with a friend on a Super Bowl or something like that, now double how much you bet. That's how confident they are of this. Only they're talking thousands of dollars, not tens and fifties. Uh, your uh, skin outside here is all a true high gloss. You're, you don't see the fibers in the fiberglass. You can you see, you see reflections in the fiberglass. This is an easy adjust awning, as is that one, by the way. Um, the awning arms, you can just pull on them. It literally only takes two fingers to push down on it, and you can put like a 12-inch pitch on the awning. Baggage doors are fully insulated, so you're not going to spill all the heat out of it. More on the insulation in a minute. Um, and they're, uh, they're held up magnetically, so you don't have to juggle them open with your head. They do have metallic bus-style latches, not plastic, so they're not going to crack on the cold in you. And we do not have a drop frame in here. But you could have fooled me, because that's pretty darn big and generous. Uh, even in the basement, we have LED spotlights for your cargo. And we do have outside TV hookup space down here. Um, the uh, Let me close this real quick. <clears throat> Easy operating, there you go. Insulation, I told you I'd come back to that. Everyone has a name for it. They call it Polar Tech, but it does work very well when, uh, the way they're doing it. Cruiser, forced air heated, insulated, and closed underbelly. Extra insulation in the roof that does wrap around the nose cap. That nose cap's a big area a lot of people forget. Um, well, they forget or they don't do it on purpose, I don't know, but it is missed a lot in the RV business. They don't tend to tell you that though, do they? <laughs> um, painted nose cap, not a uh, color infused plastic cap. Plastic caps with color infusion fade like a son of a gun. And, and I mean quickly, potentially within the first year of ownership, depending on where you live and how much sun you get. Yeah, uh, This is painted automotive paint, just like your car. You know, it's not going to fade any more or less than your car. You can have a car for 15 years and just it's still going to look red or blue or whatever, you know. Trailer pin box with this big shock dampening rubber brick up here, basically. Uh, it can pivot. And what that does is it's going to help take that, that chucking and, and that porpoising away from uh, pushing your vehicle around and tossing you around the cab of your truck. <coughs> Pardon me. Big, big uh, front compartment as well. Now a couple things. Notice that it's preset from the factory of two batteries. You don't have to worry about um, double wiring and miswiring and crossing wire and I got a dirty camera lens. Sorry about that. Um, the other thing is we have a battery disconnect here because things like your air conditioner, water heater, your TV, DVD player, all that stuff doesn't shut off. It goes into low power mode instead of always use mode. So it's always sucking juice off your batteries. Now you can kill it. Now we've added a residential refrigerator to this one. Uh, remember that is an option, not found on every 303. But uh, you see we have a uh, inverter so that you can run that uh, uh, going down the road so your eggs stay you know, cool and your, your mayonnaise doesn't spoil and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> the seal system they use on here on their slide outs is uh, patent pending, so they're the only ones that have it. It is awesome. It's one of the reasons I think we don't have them come back with problems. They have a big extended flange right here. This thing is extra wide, so they can put an extra seal on here that actually wraps around and beside this seal. So when you're in transit, there's always an extra seal touching, or when it's in storage and the wind and the weather is beating on it, there's an extra seal in place all the time protecting this thing, keeping the outside out and the inside in. Um, this bag sure you see is also self-supporting. We got a little strut there, so again, you don't got to hold it open. But uh, we have a uh, enclosed docking center on the right side of the frame right now. 
and uh, that's really handy so that all your gate valves and stuff are enclosed again part of that cold weather package also i do want to point out you can see down here all the aluminum structure and how cleanly finished this is this does have an aluminum cage construction not aluminum perimeter where it's just a, a single band of aluminum around things it has studs and cross members and struts and joists and gussets and every other word you want to apply to structural integrity it's got it and uh, what that means is that this thing is going to stay put together better longer stronger uh, 10 gallon gas electric fast recharge water heater about 20 gallons per hour uh, we have an equiflex uh, suspension down here <clears throat> in combination with the equiflex trailer pin box that's going to help soak up those shocks and jolts to keep them from jostling you around the truck. Uh, every single window opens for ventilation. So you always get good cross breeze in here. And there's plenty of windows for, uh, you know, just good viewing, if nothing else. Power front leveling jacks are standard. We complement that with power rear stabilizers. So everything's push button easy. Both awnings, front jacks, rear jacks, everything's push button and go. Even your power ceiling fans in this, the way we tend to build them, are just push button and go. Um, the uh, ladder here takes you up to a beefy roof, a very, very well constructed roof. And one of the things they do for the roof also is they wrap that roof line over the sidewall. That seam where the roof meets the wall is a big potential failure point because if that seam fails, if water starts here, water travels down. So if that top seam fails, everything below it is going to get messed up. So they take that super critical, highly important seam and move it away from a high stress point where they meet at the, the corner and move it down on the side of the wall a few inches to a low stress point. It's just a massive way to reduce problems. And again, that's one of the reasons they have double the warranty of most guys in this class. Uh, they do have a little two inch uh, receiver hitch on the back so you can add accessories like bike racks and whatnot. <clears throat> Probably about a 200 pound capacity or so on that. And uh, I think we've pretty much killed the exterior. Let's uh, hop inside for you real quick. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me again. Now, right when you walk in, you have all your uh, control panel hidden right away here. I want to point out your switches are all backlit. Where it's really nice is like your porch light. I can see at a glance, oops, I left my porch light on even though I'm inside. But your interior lights, they're all LED and it really brightens it up here. And it takes it from dead to alive in a big, big hurry. This interior decor is called Espresso. It's the darker um, ax a darker leatherette with light cloth accents. Um, there's also a cappuccino, which is a mid-tone, and a uh, latte, which is like a light cream color. So again, this video could look different from the one we have in stock. Give us a call and, or double-check our website to make sure we got the one you want. Let's just get dug in here. I got a lot to cover, um, and we've you know already gone for a while. Uh, the uh, refrigerator, we have upgraded that to an 18 cubic foot uh, residential Samsung. Uh, so you've got, what is that, 250% more cold storage capacity uh, above the, the standard one, or pretty close to that anyway. Um, the sofa over here is the trifold memory foam hide -a bed that's made uh, by Black Label. This is all Black Label furniture. Very comfy stuff. Um, and as far as I can tell, it's identical to like lane furniture that you're already familiar with you're just not paying for the advertising name it's one of those scenarios <coughs> pardon me i'm so sorry i talked about led lights you know i just want to point out the fact that they do have two banks of them so they have two rows of lights so it does brighten up in here pretty well uh we like to put a ceiling fan in these so you can get your uh air moving around and it doesn't feel like a closet in here you know your main air conditioner is going to be a 15,000 btu um, which is not uncommon in this class. It is uh, centralized. It does have a quick cool, so you can qu uh, cool just your living room quickly if you want to. Uh, the other thing that we will tend to do is we will tend to add the uh, bedroom air conditioner to this as well, which uh, is also centralized. So it upgrades you to a total 28,500 BTU air system. That's pretty darn good. The slide out over here is extra tall. So first of all, we've got a freestanding dining table instead of a booth. So it's very much more comfortable to like couples camping, which is what this is pretty much used for. Um, and you do have the extension leaf for when you bring guests. But like I said, the slide's extra tall. It's 6'5 or 6'6 six, six tall. I'm 6'3. Pardon the gash in my head here. I bash my head onto something, which is, I mean, case in point why I prefer a taller slide because I'm clumsy and I hit my head on things. Um, <clears throat> let me see here. Moving around. The, uh, I love the, the floor tones they're using in here. That is just really, really sharp. You have a side corner entertainment, which is my personal favorite, because no matter where you're at, 
everywhere in the living room, you have a clear shot at the screen. Even more so in a cruiser, because your big, uh, what, roughly 40 inch TVs on this giant reinforced swing arm. So it can face wherever you want. If you are in the kitchen cooking a lot, if you're sitting in your rear recliners, even if you're over here in the corner, everyone gets a good shot at the screen. Um, we've simply pulled that out for storage purposes. TV in the living room is always included on a cruiser. The uh, entertainment center is all in one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, so you don't need to bring along extra things. Um, they do leave you extra pockets and spaces in here if you want to bring like a satellite system though. Uh, the uh, fireplace down here is an electric space heater. The, what that lets you do is um, put some heat into your living space here without burning up all the propane um, you need to pay to replace by utilizing the electricity you've already paid for at your campsite. Awesome kitchen. This is an awesome, awesome kitchen that I really, really like. This is effectively uh, the bigger, badder version of the Cruiser Air 28SE. It's just the, the juiced up version of that model. Now even here in the island, this is all kinds of storage space, and uh, I forgot to pull it out of the closet. There is a trash can that comes included in there as well, so they do give you a place for that. You've got solid surface countertops, which opens the opportunity for a stainless steel undermounted sink, and this sink cover is fitted so it can't fall out of place, and it is strong. It is built well. We also have a little sprayer-style faucet so uh, you can clean bigger pots and pans easier. Both sides of your island have these outlets, so you can, you know, coffee makers and blenders and all that good stuff. You can you can cook up a storm in here, guys. Um, also in, uh, located in your slide out here is the microwave and stove. These are your three big appliances in the kitchen. They're in the slide, they're off the floor plan, and they are what opens up the opportunity for all this extra storage space because they're just out of the way. Now, both behind the oven and over here, you have a true backsplash, which is just really sharp to look at. Um, you know, they don't, they just don't cut corners. They don't do that down there. We have a perfect little uh, device charge station over here as well. Uh, USB plugs, 12 volt plugs, residential outlets, anything you need to keep any device charged. Oh, um, wait, this comes in at um, 10,580. I forgot to mention that earlier. She weighs 10,580, so. I would really prefer you to have a three-quarter ton to uh, haul her around personally. Let me kill these lights so I can conserve a little battery power here. Uh, nice hallway light. I like that uh, welcome back light is what I call it. That way, you know, you can leave that on and you can you can be able to see in here when you come in. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Um, your shower. Uh, it's a uh, easy walk-in shower. You've got a triple section slider door here and there is plenty of headroom in the shower right here so even a tall guy like me i don't have to put my head in the slide out uh or geez i am i'm sick and i need to wrap it up uh, i don't have to put my head in the skylight there it is to take a shower now there is a seat in here as well so very good if you need to sit to bathe for safety purposes also very nice um for uh folks who like ladies you need to uh sit down shave your legs, uh, that's, that, you know, they give you a spot to do that. You don't have to try to do the stand and bash your head against the wall method, which I'm told is not fun. Um, the, uh, bathroom here, we will typically upgrade to a, a bigger skylight, or pardon me, a bigger vent fan as well. Now, yeah, now I say skylight. Jeez, oh, Pete, I need to wrap this up. But, uh, once again, um, this, uh, is just a bigger, better fan. And just like in the living room, it has a wall controller, so you can just push one button, it turns itself on and opens all in one push. And then when you're done, push it again. It shuts off and closes. It's just, it's just one touch, easy operation. It's like flicking a light switch. It's just that simple. Um, oh, bathroom also has a true pocket door. It doesn't swing open. You don't have to go backwards down the stairs to get into the bedroom because we have a real actual pocket door. Just like every other room, you flick one light and whew, she just comes to life. Uh, we've, we've got a king bed in here. That is an upgrade we tend to put into these. That is a true king, 70 by 80. There is storage underneath of it, which not every fifth wheel offers. You don't think that. You don't think about stuff like that because so many of them do. It, it's about 60%. A huge chunk of the RV business does not have good real storage under the bed. If you're lucky, some might give you little his and hers troughs. This has a full underbed storage. Both sides of the bed have outlets right up next to your head. Now, not only do you have outlets right up next to your head over here, you also have this extra stand with like a little robe hanger and whatnot. They just add that extra little recess pocket right there to open it up a little bit and you can actually walk around this bed. 
um, you're going to get a wonderful chance to take a look at me in the mirror. I'm going to try to not get too close because that's not pretty. Remember, we have uh, some, this is an option. It won't be found in every 303. This video is not in, uh, you know, indicative of every 303. Keep that in mind. But when you do add a second AC, as we have done here from the factory, it is centralized. We have a total 28,500 BTU air system going on in here. Big front wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe. Um, it is uh, washer dryer prepped over here is storage with the washer and dryer prep on the other side And even up here. We still have little LED lights. So if you do want to add washer and dryer, you can do that. We also have a Very good sized dresser you get a lot of your sweaters and jeans and things in there If you want to add a TV to the bedroom You're all prepped and ready to do it and an extra large window over here for cross breeze The other thing I want to talk about every window in this coach has these roll down blackout shades and I mean blackout. It will blot out the sun in here when you close those things. It makes a big difference. Both air conditioners, if you do add the second one, have their own thermostats, by the way. So you can use them uh, independently or support them together if you just set the temperature the same. <clears throat> so that pretty much covers this one from tip to tail, top to bottom, inside and out. I'm sure I've missed something because there is a lot to cover on these. So if you're not sure about anything, if there's some fine detail I missed, don't hesitate to give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hayward RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody.